Hello everyone, my name is Japneet Kaur and welcome and welcome back to this in Canada. In this video, we will talk about can you survive winters in Canada and also how you can survive winters in Canada. And before starting this video, I want to request, please guys, do hit that like button. Please, please and thank you so much. Now, without any further ado, let's start our video. So, firstly, let's discuss about the most asked question, can you survive winters in Canada? And the answer is yes, you can survive winters in Canada. Depending upon the province you will go, winters are different in different provinces. But in general, you will be able to survive winters. However, surviving your first winter would be different. But after that, you will know what to do and what not to do in winters and you will be able to survive. So the first thing you have to do is that you don't have to buy snow jacket or snow shoes from India. If you are coming from India, you need not to buy those snow jacket and shoes from India because you will not get that quality and that material jacket and shoes that you need in order to survive snow in Canada. And I will recommend you to buy winter jackets and shoes in the month of November because there is huge sale at that time. Don't wait till the end of sale. That is don't wait till Boxing Day or Christmas in order to get your jackets and shoes. So I have two material snow jacket. One is this kind of material you can see and the other one is this. And they are both good for snow jackets. So keep in mind that you have to buy jackets which are specifically for snow. It will be written on the jacket that it can withstand minus 40 degrees Celsius or minus 30 degree, something like that. So keep this thing in mind while you are getting jacket, while you are purchasing jacket. You can get jacket from like 100 and 150 dollars in sale up to 1500 dollars. Like, like jackets can be really expensive, but you don't need to buy 1000 or 1500 dollar jacket. If you want to buy, sure you can, but 150 to 200 dollar winter jacket is also good. And keep in mind that your jacket do have the fur and it should be detachable so that it's easier for you and also it should be long not very short so that your legs are also covered by the jacket which cover which can cover you up till your necks also by snowshoes i can't show i can't show you snowshoes right now because i don't have it right now but do buy them and jo tusi apne snowshoes buy karoge that you should be able to walk with them on slippery road. Where it is a little bit slippery, you should be able to walk with those shoes because over here sometimes it's black ice, you can't really see that ice and it is very difficult to walk on them without those snowshoes. So keep this thing in mind. And the second way of surviving Canadian winter is to cover yourself from head to toe. What does that mean? You need to wear muffler. So this muffler I didn't buy from here. Actually my mother made this muffler for me. So it is very warm because it is pure wool. So I had like four or five of these, but you can definitely buy mufflers from here or even you can bring one or two from India, but keep in mind that it should be woolen or either pashmina. So it is very warm. You should wear around your neck and it will keep you very warm and then and the second thing you need to buy is cap and it will cost you around 15 to 20 dollars and keep in mind that it should be very warm because covering your head is very important and after you put your cap you should also cover yourself with the hoodie which is given to you with your jacket so very important and the third thing is gloves very important you will not be able to feel your hands if you will not wear gloves like from past two years it hasn't been that much snowy or very cold in toronto but when it does get cold your hands are totally numb and you can't feel so if you are not wearing these gloves it will be very difficult so buy these gloves and they will also cost you around 10 to 15 dollars and the other things are the 
warmer so this warmer i bought from india i haven't got any warmers from canada these were from jockey i got like three to four pairs of warmers very important it is very important that you layer yourself so buy these and also if you can bring sweaters from india it is also good you get everything from here i'm not saying that you will not get sweaters or warmers or anything but if you are coming from india try to bring some sweaters warmers and also some mufflers so that especially if you are coming in winter intake so that you don't have to rush in order to buy these things and you can cover yourself properly and the last thing which is very important is to cover your feet don't wear these ankle socks and go outside in snow wear like a woolen socks which are very thick so that it is properly covered if you have to wear even and then wear your snowshoes so and the last thing which you can do in order to survive winters in canada which i personally really like is to eat good food so in winters usually when you come uh, your first winter will be difficult even if you layer yourself even if you cover yourself properly you might get sick so what personally i do when i feel feverish or cough or cold try to get a home treatment beforehand only don't wait at all because it will get worse and worse in the beginning only try to get chicken soup if you are non vegetarian if you are vegetarian you can have a vegetarian soup try to cook at home and also i do eat chicky or you can call gachak or peanut brittle whatever you want to call i do eat gachak in winters a lot it helps to keep your body warm and the last thing is get yourself a bottle which keep your liquid warm for long period of time you can bring it from india and in india there are many good brands where you get those bottle or you can buy from here i do have of university of waterloo i really like this one it reminds me of university of waterloo so in this if you keep water soup or tea coffee anything or you can purchase tea and coffee from outside whatever you like but it is important that you carry this because if you are commuting a long distance in bus or any where buses do have heating system every day there will be heating system but but still keep this thing so that you feel warm just sip it so you can buy this from canada or you can get it from india so that's all for the video i hope you enjoyed this video and please guys do subscribe to my channel i wish and also don't forget to hit the like button please please and please and i will and also share with your friends and family and i will see you in my next video till then take care and bye bye